smart factories is another segment that is going through a revolution right now. They're being re it's being reinvented. The World Bank predicts, st estimates that about 18% of the world GDP comes from manufacturing. 18, that's tr $17 trillion. So no wonder governments and, and industries are trying to improve efficiency, reduce downtime, protect the factories, create resilience. But what is a smart factory other than, than being smart? It's an it's a interconnected network of devices and machines that work together to create things efficiently. So, but the, the ecosystem, the ecosystem manufacturing is complex. There's all these webs of interconnected relationships with stakeholders. You have governments and regulators who are establishing the laws of, of safety, laws of security, or energy consumption. Then you have the demand creators, the consumers. The population of the world is going to increase, estimated to increase, but 2 billion people in the next 30 years. 2 billion people. We need products to get to the market faster. We need a strong infrastructure, more resilience, higher productivity. And then you have connecting all these, these, these corners, the makers, companies like us, semiconductors, software, OEMs. OEMs like Schneider. Schneider is a leader in industrial, and they have a very strong vision of what the smart factory is, and it will be. So I'm going to let Ali, Dr. Ali and Schneider give us his vision on the smart factories. At Schneider Electric, we are supporting our customers to build smart factories. Smart factory is a factory which is flexible, efficient, resilient, and sustainable. With our ecostructure, the IoT ready and open platform, consisting of connected products, edge control, and software, we are delivering the solutions for that. We can showcase this in our uh, own factories where we can reduce energy by more than 10% and improve, for example, the maintenance costs by more than 30%. We have been recognized several times by the World Economic Forum for that, and we are incorporating the latest technologies in our products like edge, cloud connectivity, and AI to deliver on this promise. Schneider is, a, is also another example of a great partner that we have in industrial. You know, they drive, they, they, they think about the ecosystem, try to shape it. Clearly, the manufacturing floor is being reinvented because the incentives are, from an economic perspective, are very strong. A trillion, a trillion, with a T, dollars of cost of un unplanned downtime every year. Our manufacturing floors need to be more efficient. They use an enormous amount of, of the world's energy consumption per year. And obviously, waste management is a big deal. So Dr. Ali talked about flexibility on a factory. So what, what does he mean by flexibility? The factory floors, flexibility means that a factory floor can be reprogrammed, reconfigured to make uh, different products with minimal downtime. So, reconfigurability of a factory floor is a key innovation driver for efficiency. Key. So, when you think about a factory floor, that's the complexity. We're trying to solve certain pieces of complexity here. If you think about a factory floor, there are tons and tons of sensors, actuators, motors, they're all generating data. And that data sometimes needs to be analyzed 
And sometimes it's even better to analyze that data at the edge. Sometimes it's even required. And that is going to happen. It's very clear that we need to offer our customers a broad spectrum of compute solutions so they can leverage their software investment from low-cost MCUs to high-performance microcontrollers. Many times, these devices need machine learning. They need AI. Think of predictive maintenance. And today, maintenance is scheduled based on worst-case conditions. So it's an overkill. You shut down for maintenance where you don't need to. Think about now machine learning, analyzing the data, and you're able to predict when the machine will fail so you can schedule maintenance when it's the most convenient. So we now offer also machine learning options, accelerators, that vary depending on the cost and the performance of the processor. Now, our customers also started pushing us to develop a little bit more tailored processing products for industrial. You know, Schneider was one of them. More tailored product. This is product. It's a unique product because it's, it's unique and it's unique in its breed. Customers are asking us for an MCU, still real time, okay, not a micro, not a microprocessor, a high performance MCU running real time operating systems. They need one fast, so we gave them a fast processor. Then they needed industrial networking, especially TSN. TSN promises to uh, replace all the fragmented legacy industrial protocols that are out there. TSN is a protocol that focuses on latency on mission-critical mission communications. So we reacted, added to our industrial processors, high-speed Ethernet, TSN Max. These devices, obviously, they're connected. So safeguarding the data and the device itself is paramount. So security was important. And they're also controlling motion, they're controlling conveyor belts. So, so, so safety. These products now have independent islands for safety and security, completely independent, to make sure we provide uncompromising performance in both security and safety. This product, clearly a product that was discussed with an ecosystem focus in mind. And because of it, this product will be at the heart of the connected factory for a long time. Machine learning. So we talk, when we talk about smart, you know, by definition, every processor is smart. But when we talk about intelligence, which is the ability to infer based on data. When it comes to that, accelerated computing is very desirable. You offload, you offload, you create this hardware accelerators that is independent, and you offload the main CPU from doing this heavy computations needed for the inference, for the decision you're about to make. The issue is that, for the most part, accelerated computing has been relegated to high-end pro micro microprocessors. And that's a problem. That's an issue, because it's needed everywhere, high and low. That means microcontrollers need this capability. So NXP just launched our family of products, the MCXN family of products, what, with an integrated NXP design neural processing unit. And obviously, it's for MCU, so it's optimized for MCU usage. It can do machine learning um, applications like facial recognition, voice recognition, anomaly detection. This achievement, I would say this milestone, because it's a milestone, was recognized by the Tiny ML Foundation, and they gave us the award for the best machine learning MCU this year at Embedded World. You will see a lot more of this capability in the NXP MCU families. 
Now, machine learning is a paradigm shift from a software development perspective. It's, it's complex. And for the most part, today is being taken advantage by big companies. Companies are able to invest in the tools and the resources. And that's a problem. It's a problem because many companies are being left out out of really good capability. It shouldn't be the case. The way we think about it, you should be able to download an SDK, download the applications, and use them as part of your development process. And we recognize that's not the case. We recognize that's not the case. Today, a developer will have to build the models, will have to train the models. You probably have to optimize the models to work in that target hardware. And then sometimes the models need to be, and the model parameters need to be tweaked iteratively. And it's complex. It's complex. But our goal is to bridge that complexity. To bring, our goal is to actually eliminate that complexity. So we develop a machine learning development environment. We call it EIQ, stands for Edge Intelligence, where you can simplify the process I just talked. The developer can create the model, train the model, download models if they have them available. They have an inference engine that is optimized for NXP processors. It allows the developer also to compare algorithms, compare hardware, compare accelerators. Our goal is to bring machine learning capabilities to the masses. The EIQ and the range of products that we have in our processor family is going to accomplish just that. And I can't leave Smart Factory, Smart Factory yet, without talking about analog. Kind of remember, Dr. Ali Schneider talked about reconfigurability as a key innovation of the Smart Factory. Kind of remember, factory is full, full of these con conveyor motors, actuators, sensors. It's all this data. This data needs to be acquired. This world is analog. So we realized that we needed, we needed the capability, a high performance capability for an analog data acquisition. A really high performance front end. So think about the factory floor. Let's say a device today is, 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 is connected to a line, is reading voltage today. It's reading voltage, make sure no spikes, looking at it. And then tomorrow, the factory floor gets reconfigured, and now it needs to be reading current or vibration. Our front end allows for that reprogrammability to follow the changes in the factory floor. Now, reprogrammability was a key innovation, but also another innovation is predictive maintenance. Our FAEs, our front ends, is able to take the slightest anomalies. It's got a wide dynamic range. And now when you put it together with a powerful processor, you can evaluate the data, you can, you can predict when failure will happen, and you can schedule maintenance when it's most convenient. So when you put it all together, this is our answer to solving complexity. Put it together, put our industrial processors, our PMIX, our connectivity, our security, our front end, this is our answer to complexity. This is a solution, a real solution for the smart factory. If you're an industrial, and if you're in smart factories, you need to be talking to NXP. Yeah. 